Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the internet. Feasting Troll King, Order of Midnight, Slaying Fire, Turn to Pumpkin. All these are very good. Out Muscle's also good. Garenbring Paladin's also good. But I think Feasting Troll King is pretty bonkers. I can't see uh, not taking it. If you guys are watching on YouTube, do me a favor. Slam the like and the subscribe button down below. You'll get notifications whenever new videos pop up, which is every day. So if you want to support the channel, you can do that. You can also support the channel by going to patreon.com slash franklapore. I don't post a ton of content to the Patreon, but it is a great way for $1 or $2 a month if you guys are exclusive YouTube watchers or if you find yourself always consuming the content to pay $1 or $2 a month to just give, you know throw me some support if that if that's a if that's a way you guys can help out. Um, I really appreciate it. Patreon.com slash franklapore. $1 or $2 a month. Great way to support the channel. Really appreciate it. So I figured I'd mention that. Elite Headhunter, Sir Farron, Garen Brig Paladin, Scorching Dragonfire, Searing Barrage. Hmm. Is it just Garen Brig Paladin? I mean, the removal spells are great. But this is quad. I kind of want the dragon fire to be quite honest. I think Paladin's really good though. Shut up and take my money. Oh, oh, to round it up, ma'am. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. All right, I'm gonna take the Paladin. I want to take this Trail of Crumbs for sure, and I don't think it's particularly close. This card is actually fantastic. Oh, Thunderous Snapper. All right. Now we're doing it. Now we're living the dream. Um, I'm going to take Escape to the Wilds. I think it's actually fine. And if we get, like, r any, any Rose Thorn Acolytes, oh, yes. That's what we wanted, and this pack has nothing. This makes it easy to play both of these guys, so... This is an easy splash off a Rose Thorn Acolyte. We can also just play it off of like a mountain. Yeah, this card's been great every time I've played it. Sometimes you hit like four lands, but then like you're not going to draw those four lands and you get to play an extra land that turn and the next turn. So you're at least drawing two cards off of it. And I assume you'll play the other card that you get off of it. So lots of, lots of variety. Um, I like Scalding Cauldron. I don't think Marilee Frider is great. Scalding Cauldron continues to impress me, though. Okay, this pack is, does not continue to impress me. I guess I'll just take Pal I'll just take the Rider. Golden Egg seems good if we want to splash either one of these. I don't think this is a splash. I think we just play it, and we just have the the quad green deck. Has anyone played the Turtle Hydra? Are you talking about this dude right here? This is a Turtle Hydra, right? What's the other green bomb? Questing, questing Beast? I like Signpost Scarecrow again. It's a great way to cast Escape to the Wilds. The one that destroys artifacts and enchantments. Flaxen, Flaxen Waxen. None of these cards are any good. Oh yes, Return to Nature is almost main deckable in this format. Okay, I mean this is actually a pretty solid pack one, so. Oh man, I was really hoping it was an Oko. I actually kind of like Rampart Smasher here. However, Once Upon a Time is worth 15 tickets, so I don't like it that much. Plus, this is just great. This is just completely playable to get Feasting Troll King. We're going to take the 15 ticket card. 
Maybe that Rampart Smasher will actually come back. Then we can have the sick mono green deck where we get to take all the green cards. Steel Bane Hydra? What the shit is that? That's a Brawl card that I don't even know about. Gadwick. That's actually very tempting. This dude enters battlefield with X. So for those who don't know what Steelbane Hydra is, wow, that's huge. So it's an X plus one plus one counter. So let's say a six six for for eight. You can remove a counter, destroy an artifact or enchantment. That's great. Um, Gadwick. Or we can take Flax and Intruder. I'm seriously tempted to just play blue green and take this Gadwick. Because Gadwick, if you're able to cast it even for like five mana to draw two, it's still very, very good. Plus, we have Rose Thorn Act like Golden Egg. I'm going to take the Gadwick. Oh, also Beanstalk Giant. Thank you. That seems great. Eric, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Beanstalk Giant seems great. I also do like Charm Sleep a lot, but I'm not completely committed to, to the blue. I like Castle Vantress a lot. Do I like it more than I like Rose Thorn Acolyte number two? I don't think so, especially with Troll King and Snapper. That could have been correct. I'm not sure, but Witching Well or Into the Story? I think it's Into the Story. Um, actually, I'm not sure. The nice thing... Okay, I guess we're taking Witching Well. <laughs> Fires is actually interesting here. Huh. I wonder if we're a Fires deck. Gadwick's not great with Fires, but... Like you can go fires and then thunderous snapper. Uh, the Hydra is okay in brawl and it's okay and it's okay in every format really. It, all the cards that are printed in brawl decks are illegal and standard, so I'm gonna take the fires because just maybe, because just maybe. Another scalding cauldron, scalding cauldron. That's hard to say. And another signpost scarecrow. I think I'd rather have a second cauldron. Mm, curious pair is not impressive, but it's okay. Oh, uh, no, you can't draft them because they're in Brawl decks. They're not in Throne of Eldraine packs. I mean, we could technically cut this for Unexplained Visions. Is this is this more appealing to me because it's a, a rare? I don't know. Take another Golden Egg. Golden Egg is like Witching Well. I mean, they both draw you one card. Or, well, I, rather, it draws you one less card, but you get to fix your mana with it. And it costs two less, so. All right, now we're looking for an Oko. Or a Questing Beast. I guess that's... Gadwick seems greedy. We have double Rose Thorn Acolyte, Beanstalk Giant, and double Egg. I mean, our fixing seems very, very good. Also, a Signpost Scarecrow, like... Oh man, I'm so I'm so sorry. I tried to defend myself against you. Oh, was I yelling? Oh god, we have uh, a beanstalk giant, two rose thorn acolytes, uh, and two golden eggs to help to help fix for the Gadwick. Is that better? Oh yeah. Now we're gonna take Grumgully the generous. We're gonna uh, take this, and all of our creatures are gonna come into play. Thank you. With a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, Grobinger, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Edgewall Innkeeper. Actually, Curious Pair, Curious Pair, Acolyte, Acolyte, Beanstalk Giant. That's five adventure creatures. I mean, Grumgully is great, but I really don't want to go too crazy with the splash. Unsub right now? Wow, that's aggressive. That's aggressive, dude. I mean, it's definitely one of these two, right? I'm going to take Grummy. 
I like it. I like it better. Oh, I like Garen Brig Paladin. Also, the 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 five five the the wall rampart smasher didn't come back last last pack. That's sad. Lucky Clover. Oh, Lucky Clover adds two mana with these guys. Makes two food tokens with these guys. Searches for two lands with this guy. Maybe we just want Lucky Clover here. 100% in key. We're watching on mute, so I can't hear if you're disagreeing with me. I think this will tell you if I disagree with you. I'm going to take Lucky Clover this time, and maybe I just play it. Sunday, Monday, happy days. It's funny that the only blue cards are like Witching Well and Gadwick, right? Order of Midnight's actually pretty tempting to get back our Feasting Troll King or Thunderous Snapper. Plus, we don't have a problem casting it when we have two of these, two of these, and this. Yeah, I think it's actually Order of Midnight. We're basically playing the five color green deck right now, and we're totally okay with it. Ooh, Deathless Knight is interesting if we're just going super deep on the green here. Yeah, all right. We're basically mono, mono greening it, essentially. I'm going to take Fel the Pheasant because I think it's a great sideboard card. Does Witch's Oven have any combos? I don't think so. Double escape to the wilds? He would. He totally would. I'm going to take the second escape. I don't know if we're playing it, but you know what? I don't know if we're not playing it either. Gingerbread Gingerbread Cabin actually seems decent in this in this deck. Wow, the Favor Elder came back? The problem is we don't have a lot of permanence of other colors. Did you like those siren noises I made? Is this a knight? Oh man, if this was a troll knight, I'd be like, Barrow Witches! These guys are knights. This guy's a knight. about this isn't a green dude like the green red guy that would be sick solid as a rock fling oh fling with troll king is not terrible i don't know how greedy this gadwick is Uh, take out Thrill. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't even know what this song is, man. Oh, God. Solid as a rock. Is Lucky Clover good enough? Fuck if I know. Yeah, actually with Order of Midnight, yeah, I think it is. Order of Midnight, Double Curious Pair, uh, Double Rose Thorn Acolytes, and Beanstalk Giant. I think it's actually fine. We have six targets for this. Also, additionally, like making double food tokens is even better because we have Trail of Crumbs. If only I had one more... You know... I think the Gadwick's probably the the card that's too greedy. Which makes me sad. Three blue is just a lot. I could also see taking out the Witching Well. Maybe for another Escape to the Wilds? Double Escape seems sick. And now we can literally just splash like two of these, one of these, none of these. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we have the one black to search out with Order of Midnight. Two red seems better for both of these. And then 14, uh, we'll go 13 and add Gingerbread Cabin. 
Because we also have double golden egg, double rose thorn, and a signpost scarecrow. So we just cast this. We like hit a bunch of lands off of it. We can search for two lands if we go clover and beanstalk giant. And also none of our um none of the the adventures we play off of Lucky Clover can be countered. You know, like sometimes if you murder us if you uh, swift end something, like, oh I'll kill your guy, and then there's not a second guy, so it just gets countered and I can't actually cast the murderous rider. Everything is gonna resolve. Making food, making food, making mana, making mana, and searching for things and getting two creatures back, which is pretty sweet. So rock. Trail of yums, am I right? I think you are right, actually. That's really interesting. Mm, yeah, okay. This hand is actual perfect. So it's this guy. This is going to come down. Then we can go this guy into this guy. Yeah, that seems great. Definitely looking for a three. Okay, that's fine. Definitely looking for a three drop here. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm game. What's it gonna be? We also have food here. Food here. Okay, well, that's fine. Their name is Magic of Player One? What does that even mean? What are you doing after midnight? I'm probably going to let it all hang down. After midnight, we're going to let it all hang down. Man, if we hadn't played this Golden Egg, we could have actually just played Once Upon a Time for free. God. That's amazing. Um, Rose Thorn Acolyte times two. I don't think we want the Swamp when we do have Golden Egg and Rose Thorn Acolytes. I guess we just take a Rose Thorn Acolyte. I don't think we need any lands right now. Solid as a rock. Yeah, I know. I got some green screen stuff. That's fine. I, I think that's a, a mi pretty minimal concern. Hmm. Second beanstalk giant. Those guys are going to be hard to deal with. Oh, you're going to trap that dude in the tower? Okay. Ooh, Trail of Crumbos. Um, okay. That was a weird choice, but... Well, have no way to deal with that. So now we're just bringing in all of the... Uh... Let's trail of crumbs here. Cause I don't wanna die. But do 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 Yep, no attacks here. Wow, that's pretty good. Definitely definitely bring in all of our sideboard cards, Fell the Pheasant and Return to the to the nature. Yep, go to one. 
Jesus. Beanstalk, giant, and a lucky clover. I gotta take one, huh? Sure, I'll take the giant. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, why doesn't this have reach? Nobody knows. Super Fritz, have a great afternoon, my dude. Yep, this card's pretty unbeatable. Grum Gully, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this isn't going to do anything. All right, we're just going to go to the next game because despite our deck being very, very good, take out Clover, bring in Fell the Pheasant. Tall as a beanstalk. And I think Return's good against Trapped in the Tower, which they also have. We're just going to submit like this. We have a bunch of mana production, so I'm not super concerned with going 41 here. What's up, Cannibal? I'm off to the sandwich mines. Oh, snap it off. Seems good. I guess we're taking a forest. We got some treats to share. So next turn we can go Acolyte. And then if we draw another card, we can go escape. Uh, by another card, I mean another land. Oh, we're doing it. Next turn, escape to the wilds. We play an extra land off of the escape. So there's going to be four four cards under this. If another one's a land, we can play it. I don't think we actually want to waste this yet. I think we want to play this when we have um, two lands to play off of it. Which would be like next turn. Interesting. Just a shepherd coming down. Interesting. Uh, yep. Forest. Forest. Seems good. So next turn we can only play one of the Garenberg Paladins, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But. I think that's fine. What are we drinking today? Water. Every day is water. Always water. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Well, dang it.
I'll take one. Look at all this food we got, man. Water, like from a toilet? Yeah, I mean, same thing, right? Eh, might as well get in there. One, two, three, four, five. Cast with adamant support. Done. Cast Order of Midnight with no creatures in the graveyard to get back. Unfortunate. I mean, they're probably going to go land. Beanstalk Giant. Bears. Beanstalk. Oh, Keeper of Fables instead, huh? Well... Seems good. If only I had a way to deal with that guy. I think we're finding the, the fatal flaw of our deck. Well, this guy can't be blocked. You have to double block here. I don't foresee that happening, my dudes. As much as I want to get another land out, six, seven, eight, and we need one more because, like, we'd pay three, one, two, three. So we had a four, five, and then the sixth one that we found. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Solid rock. You can freeze the water and drink it that way. It's kind of like eating a frozen pizza while it's still frozen. Yeah, it's very similar. Yep, this one one's just gonna keep pecking away and drawing you a card. Oh, dude, that redo comment where he's like, sometimes I don't even heat it up, I just eat it. I'm like, what the fuck? You just eat frozen pizza frozen? <laughs> Who the hell does that? Yep, that's a big fat idiot. We didn't get any out muscles, which is really kind of sad. Oh, it's your boy. Let's put your boy in hand. Four, five, costs six. Let's get in there with this Order of Midnight they can't block. Actually, we might as well not tap the blocker. We can Season Ritual for a red and cast old Grumarino and we can still crack a food but I'm not super keen on it because I'd rather trail of crumbs what we can do is still cast return to nature if they want to like trap our beanstalk giant in the tower or something which they're gonna do right this second 
They're not gonna do it, they've changed their mind. scary. Good lord. So they had trapped in the tower and the circle of loyalty. <sighs> What's more unbeatable? They can only make one creature a turn with this. I mean, the problem is, like, if we get rid of the circle, this is an 8-8, so we have to, like, block with this, this, and this, and we lose two of them. No, we lose, yeah, we lose the 5-5 five, five and the 2-3. Are you going to play Frontier? Yeah, I mean, when it's, when it's available to be played, for sure, and when there's, like, some deck lists popping out. I have no reason not to play it. Um, interesting they didn't attack with the flyer this time. Yeah, I assume you mean Pioneer, not Frontier. Five, five, this guy, this guy, okay. Try an artifact. Six, seven, six, seven. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at all my food. I'm just fat with food. Oh, geez. Oh, God. It's all happening. I don't know what's going on. Four mana. Oh, sure. Well, even if we had an extra land there, we'd only have two extra mana, so... I see what you're saying, though. I get it. I get what you're getting at. Seven, eight, so we can go four and still keep a food up. Yep, definitely getting in there with this dude. This guy not so great anymore. Not with three, three, and three, two, three, four. And then you shake it all about. Let's just see what we hit here. Golden egg, that's food.
admittedly, I forgot that we were going to draw, like, s that, that this would trigger off of the non... It's funny because it says whenever you sacrifice a food, but I'm thinking, like, the only way you sacrifice it is through this means. If I if I remember that, I actually wouldn't have sacrificed the food. I would have just waited to draw to, to try and draw three, three cards. You know, Troll King is definitely not instant. Activated only during your turn. That would be nuts. I mean, if we could hit, like, a Curious Pair off of something. Then we have three more foods so we can Feasting Troll King a third time. Get your two mythics back. Super cool, dude. All right. Well, that's hard to deal with. None of these are very good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they block here, here, here. I think we just alpha here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if this is great, but like we know there are two cards in their hand, so it's really hard to like play around them. Yep, and this is sure. Alright, so Troll King is going to die, these guys are going to trade. So they take one here, but we get a lot off the board. I mean, I wish we played this pre-combat, pre but I wanted to... I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does. It'd be a 4-4 instead of a 3-3, but... Guess I can't deal with Harmonious Archon and Circle of Loyalty twice. <sighs> it's pretty obnoxious. I 
I'm gonna use one more food and we can actually get the Troll King back a third time. It's only a 3-3 now though, so I'm not really even super hyped about it. <laughs> sure. Deathless Knights at 3-3. I think I'd almost rather just have the cabin make the food. So now they just play Circle of Loyalty. All our blocks are terrible. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lands. So there are four lands left in our nine cards, one of which is an escape. Man, my kingdom for a uh once in future that would be absolutely disgusting in this deck we could just be like get back troll king get back fell the pheasant return yeah like we get rid of the two cards you got back yep take 11 never run out of things because <laughs> of course you have giant killer why wouldn't you yep fucking mono lands cool fantastic I think our deck's actually super cool. Um, I just think if your opponent is running out mono mythics dot deck and you have to deal with them four times each, along with double beanstalk giant and uh, keeper of the draw card every turn and all that bullshit, it's really hard to deal with. I mean, if we had any copies of Outmuscle, like if we had one or two copies of Outmuscle, I think our deck would have been over the top, but we don't. Keeper of the draw card every turn? Yeah, that's a real card name. I think we're playing this now and then we can lucky clover oh yes oh beanstalk oh yes oh yes god i'm excited john Desor, what's going on my dude we also had blue in here at some point Oh yeah, lucky that clover. Beanstalk mountain and another forest for me. Uh, this is actually better mana usage. Just play this and get the food token out of it. Look at this value, man.
Lost Legion. That doesn't seem as good. Hmm. So we can go land. Treats to share. Okay. Okay. And then play this gentleman. Three food, a paladin, trail of crumbs. I think we're doing okay. We have a lot going on. Oh, wow, they... Wow. I mean, the damage is done, my friend. Guess we'll play a 7-7. Hope they don't have land bake into a pie. Land followed by we played a land yet? No. I mean, if they just play this guy, I really don't want them to just kill one of my foods. So I think we're just going to play Curious Pair here. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. I'll just take another Paladin. Ooh! Six, seven, eight mana. So if we hit two lands, we can actually play both Escape and Paladin. Yeah, I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four, five. Two lands. Two lands. And we get another we get another escape next turn along with Deathless Knight. That seems good. Eight, nine, ten. And if we hit another land, we can also play the golden egg. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, alright. Our deck is cool. Like, I think our round one opponent just had the nuts. I almost like Cauldron's Gift here, but it's not like if you get back feasting Troll King, it's not gonna actually give you the food, unfortunately. And getting back Beanstalk Giant's not super exciting. We have a ton of life gain. Like, we have a ton of food. So I think Deathless Knight's really thank good. You. Chicken Run Unofficial. Thank you so much. Chicken Run Official. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. 19 months. That's a good amount of time. One Larry David JTHD himself is here, a cubing it up with me. Nice. I appreciate that. I'm gonna just slam this cabin, I guess. I also like Order of Midnight and Feasting Troll King. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. We could use lands, but we have a golden egg, we're on the draw. I think we'll be alright. Are you ready? Oh, nailed it. Now I'm tempted to hold this. We can still play it on three with no real consequence, so. But if we draw, like, mono lands from here on out, 
which I wouldn't even begrudge, really. Wow, of all the two-drop knights you could play, that's like the least frightening one. All right, well, now we're regretting our, our decision. Give JTHD a smooch from me. Give it, give it to him. Give him the smooch. Smooch him. Okay, it's fine. It's all happening. Come on, untap land. Don't do me like that. Wow, you're gonna do me like that? That's some rude shit. Wow, that's brutal. That's so brutal, dude. I mean, I don't really care about the red, I'd rather just have the green. So we're gonna play Cabin here. Next time, let's just play Deathless Knight. I guess we're taking four here. I mean, if we can stabilize our hand, is pretty bonkers. As long as they don't play four two that draws them a card, I think we're okay. Well, that guy's also very good. You got a command for questions about Pioneer yet? No, I do not. I just don't have many thoughts on Pioneer yet. I think it's going to be a cool format. I look forward to it. That's cool. I mean, I guess that's fine. We have Order of Midnight. Order of Midnight. We don't want to hang out. Paladin. Fascinating. Cast you. I'll keep this egg up because I really want to just be able to uh, not die here. And then we get the death on sight back, which is cool. But now we have Troll King mana up. Lance, what do you mean by you saying uh, it's not based on any current format like Historic or Modern was? What do you mean it's not based on any current format? Like, I don't think Modern was based on any format, right? I guess I'm not sure what you mean by that. Oh, crying out loud. I guess that's fine. I mean, if we hit a land, we get to Troll King. I'm... Oh god, Scarab gun. I don't think Death Ray Chaman's gonna be very good. There's no fetches. Like, like I don't know how you're gonna... I mean, I don't know what you're gonna take advantage of with, with Death Ray Chaman. I mean, it's good. Like, it's still a, a creature that does a lot of things, but, like... Fantastic. 
one, one, two, one, two, three. one card and we're at three so we have to go block 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 double block here take two I mean, this is like a, I feel like this is a long shot here, but. Gets three dudes down. If they have a removal spell on like their one or two cards, I think we're boned anyway. But we can block here, double block here, take two. Have a bunch of food to crack next turn. Stone coil, so, yep, all right, of course they have something. Never fucking don't have it, Jesus. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Um, Stone Cold Serpent, what else do we see? Do we see anything else? I don't think we saw any flyers that I really care about. I just like Return of Nature. I think it's just very good. Okay, so that into, th yeah, this is a pretty solid curve here. This is a human, so you won't get it. This is a giant, this is a skeleton. These are both knights. Oh, we're just pumping here? I like it. I mean, is there any proof that there was insider trading and people knew about the staples before they were available? Like, I had not heard that, but I try not to buy into conspiracy theories like that. Interesting. A week ago, someone started buying out all sets RTR Ford on Magic Online. This person wanted to buy thousands of event tickets from us as well. Could be insider trading regarding the new Pioneer format. Here you can see the price spike for interesting. Uh, not blocking. And they kill it anyway, because of course they do. Yep, this is fine. Thank you. 
Jund, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the resub. Any modern Salt versus the Elk Man yet? Uh, we I think I probably played one like last week. Uh, they don't have enough to punish us for this guy, so I'm just gonna get in there for four. Boom! 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 Ba -da -da -da. Oh, that dude's a piece of junk. That dude's garbage. Man, I wish I had a another five drop to cast. Let's play this thing. Draw a card. Rose Thorn Acolyte. All right, we're just gonna get in there with everybody. If they want to trade with this guy, I think it's actually fine. I doubt they will. Yep, that's fine. Oh, Genosaur, it is definitely on YouTube. Let me actually see if I can find it for you. Um, uh, Mama Modern. Here we go. How can I go to the video? View on YouTube. Okay. Uh, Jundasaur, and there it is. That should be it. Interesting. So they probably have something to cast for four mana, which means they don't want to use indestructible, but they do want to use lifelink. So. Did they actually get anything back? No, they literally just draw a card. Dude, I, the only thing I've ever seen Forever Young do is cycle. And it's really weird. Okay, they didn't do anything. That's interesting. Sure. So five, ten, yep. Oh, we could have cracked this and then they, they like block here, they take five, six, seven, eight, nine, they go to two. I don't think that's really the best. I think I'd rather just get more bodies on the board. And we can still keep up Forest, crack an egg, get back Deathless Knight, play Deathless Knight, have, still have a food for Insatiable Appetite. I have to assume that would be game. Just want to say I'm playing and liking that Simic Hydra deck so much. Went out and bought it this week at my local game store, minus the super expensive Okos for 17 bucks. Awesome. Zimini Pop, that's awesome, dude. That deck is super fun and actually was uh, quite consistent. Like, the same reason you don't have tons of answers in the format for cards like Hydra, uh, 
questing beast is like the same reason you don't have an answer for a five mana and we win the match uh a five mana bio essence hydra Chandra went from like six tickets to like 35 tickets. That's unbelievable. Everything else on Magic Online is still relatively cheap. I'm going to play first. I'm going to keep this hand. We got a Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time. I actually think just playing once upon a time for free. I think the two mana investment is probably just better than than just casting it for two mana later in the game. And we did kind of already win because we got this guy. Ooh, we can go Grumgully on three. Yeah, that's definitely the best card in that. We do need like another Rose Thorn Acolyte though to cast this Escape from the Wilds when the time comes. Seems fine. It is a human, so. I'm also back off mute. How much did you curse me out for saying I like Inky? Oh, not. Crummy gull? Okay, see that's that's inf that's insulting. Now you're being rude. Can someone time out moderator Josh? Oh look, we found the Rose Thorn Acolyte. Uh let's make a red Z. Um mod Veltrack. Nope, that's not it. Uh, this one. What the hell just happened? Oh god. Thank you. That's not what I wanted to do. What's happening right now? I guess you guys couldn't see that anyway. Um, David, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Do I want to block either of these guys? Probably not. I think I'll just take four. How do I slash mod? Okay, we did it. Oh, your own Grumgully. Isn't that cute? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's worth taking a turn off for that. That's actually a pretty sweet draw. Free food. Do 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 do. All right. Well. I feel like despite our opponent having three mana, they're actually in good shape. How much are we protecting this Grum Gully is the question. I think we're definitely protecting Rose Thorn Acolyte. Hmm. I think because they're they're a little bit mana screwed, I, I just wanna not have them draw more cards. Oh, well, I guess they're going to do it anyway. Cool. Yep, yeah, we take four. Oh, David, what's going on? 
Gonna risk the spice on the set. set um, possibly. I mean, everyone bring mid range for Pioneer. Meanwhile, I'm just playing 11 Planeswalker Copycat because my mana is free. Copycat? Oh. Oh. I probably also have room for. Dang it. I liked, I liked it better when these were in the actual event list. Hold on. Okay, so. Oh, that was convenient. And we have enough mana to, like... I hope I don't die. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can't play both Paladins. That's unfortunate. I think we're actually dead. I have a feeling we're dead. I don't feel good about it. Also, Aaron, th Adam, thank you so much for the... Uh, okay. Yep. Okie dokie. So, block you, block you. I'll let you draw the card, I guess. Oh, I'll just use a pumpy spell. <laughs> I'm tapped out. You just have to do three more damage. However you choose. Sure. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. So we can go Paladin. I have lots of food. So we can go one, two, get back something. No. One, two, three. Alright, so we lose this Garen Brig Paladin forever, I guess. What's up, Danny DB? Oh man, chalkboard paint. That's good stuff, but also very dangerous. I'm trying to log into Streamlabs and I'm getting. Getting a weird invalid CSRF token page. I'm not actually sure what to do. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Fucking Garrick. So first round we lose to Double Mythics. Third round we lose to Garrick. That checks out. Because why wouldn't we? I have no idea uh, what I'd play in the new format. It's not, definitely have not given it a lot of thought. Okay, we're one food away from double returning the sky. We also have Order of Midnight, which is pretty sweet. I love Garrick hiding behind a death touch creature. Seems good. Two wolves as well. Yep, seems good. Yep, this is frustrating. So they've 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 entered into unbeatable status, which is nice. Very proud of them. Yep. All right. One, two, crack this. See what happens. Okay. 
I mean, they just go block, 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 right? Did you get your son something nice for his birthday? Hold on one second. Can I open this again? So this is decent because none of his guys can block this. So far. All right, they have one card in hand. They can't pump up the Garrick unless we block the wolves. They do get to make two more wolves. We have nine life. We just have to survive this turn and kill the Garrick next turn if they don't draw anything. So this could be good. Uh, I mean, we could be. We could. I mean, like, not really. We just don't have enough food. Like, we can make like you got a block, you got a block, you got a block, you got a block, and then they still have like at least two more blockers. So, you guys are more than welcome to build me some pioneer decks. All right, so they played these two. Wow, double ginger brutes. Just gonna block with this guy. <laughs> the turn after we play Order of Midnight. Get out of here. You get out of here. All right, so that's decent. So let's go one, uh, two, crack this. Okay. Yes. Uh, take Beanstalk Giant. Gain three, one, two. Play this. Fertile footsteps. Copy. Okay. Got the other red. Okay. Got the other green. Play a land for the turn. Play Merrily Frider. So we have three blockers. One, two, one, two, three. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. I think we're actually dead if they alpha here. So that's unfortunate. Should have actually attacked with the Feasting Troll King. Yep. I think it's going to be exact, guys. So, block you and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we go to one. Uh, Scarecrow or Deathless Knight?
Scarecrow. Is this what it's like to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we go to 4, we can take 1, 2, we can block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, well, live to fight another day. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Get in there, trolley boy. So we go to three, we can take two from the, the ginger brutes, and then we block the rest of the five. All right. Garrick in the trash can. Oh, wow. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, what is even happening? I do like this other scalding. I didn't see any flyers. This kills Grumgully and it kills the 2 3 with Death Touch. Oh man. Oh man. The intensity is so real. Good lord. Went to 1. Had enough to stabilize and go back to 1. Good. Gravy. Oh, this hand is actually great if we had two lands okay we'll keep this one let's ship back appetite then can we draw a lucky clover that would be the sickness we don't need the food just yet and if we drew draw lucky clover that guy just gets better so I like it. I like it. That was a uh, well fought battle. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not in the business of letting Grumgully survive. That guy's fine. I don't care about all that. Oh, um, let's actually play our own Grumgully. How about that? Let's not crack our egg for it though. Seasonal ritual. Red. Because then we can play these guys or this guy next turn if we hit another land, which is nice. Yep. See you later, Grummy Boy. So it's fine. Ooh. I'll get my snapper on. How about a bed? Next time we can play Garen Brig Paladin, draw a card. I'm a fan. Yep. Boy, they just never don't have it. It's really impressive. I'm impressed. Sure. Oh, God. Well, that's exhausting.
Well, I guess I'll take six. Searing blood, take three. Cool. You just fucking have it all. This is great. Out muscle, barge in, dragon fire, and searing barrage. Yep. That's really impressive. Have you seen those videos from Wired on YouTube about the voice coach breaking down people's accents? No. No, I haven't. Oh, I've seen... I know what you're talking about. I just haven't seen them. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Can't cast literally anything. But, you know. What are you going to do? Yep, this is the same Garrick opponent that we've had to work our asses off to, to beat. If we draw another forest, we can go... Thunder Snapper into Garenbrig Paladin, or we can try to anyway. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go with this because if we hit a forest, we can still play Snapper. And I think that's worth not getting the food token. Jesus Christ. Of course. Fantastic. Literal no plays. Amazing. Magic the Gathering is an amazing game sometimes. I love that uh, so many games are decided by skill and not luck and lands and resource management. 2-2. Two, two. Yep, seems good. Attack for 7. 8. Yep, seems good. Thank you! The Gaming Champ, thanks so much for the resub, even though uh, this match is going uh, fantastically shit. Really appreciate the support, my dude. No attack there? Interesting. Oh man, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Alistair Kane with the re with the gifted sub, man. Really appreciate you, buddy. Adam, you were awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I will assume. Yep, that's amazing. That's just incredible. I like that we had to work our asses off to win game one, and then they just, yeah, it doesn't matter. Shut up and take my money. Five opponent never didn't have it, Bucks. Do you remember when you had it? Did it feel good? Are you now sad you work for the enjoyment of scrubs on the internet? Oh, dang it. It keeps disappearing, and I can't even load the goddamn Streamlabs site. I'm just really irritated right now at this, at this specific moment. Oh, I block here, I take three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, cool. Hooray! Blinky 010 won the game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. Or slam the dislike button if you uh, if you dislike it. That's fair too. I accept that. I appreciate the support, guys. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Shanala, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate you, all 16 months of you. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll do better.